Hello! And, oh no, uh, I think I've just spoiled the mystery because oh my God. I took a look at you. And they can see you I'm, I'm, your... I'm almost dead. La last night oh. and, and this morning didn't go, didn't really go too well. But, um, no. But we made it, we survived. And, uh, that's, that's good old cool. Mootopia is still, is still going strong too. I guess the, uh, the zombies didn't want to eat all the cows. They just wanted to eat us, but we were, we were too pro, and we were hiding up here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we were too smart. Too smart for the zombies, by far. Let's, let's get some food inside us then, yeah. Yeah, let's also, um, let's also, like, build this platform out a bit more. We should name the platform, too. We should call it, like, we should call it something really cool. Can you think of some cool names for our, um, our base? Um, the best base? <laughs> uh, I was thinking of something like Fort Excelsior or like Fortress Xanadu or something like that, but the Home best base, base is also a good name. Super good, super good base. Super, super base land? Oh, there's a bunch of chickens over here. Oh, there's eggs too. Oh, delicious. Can you, can you fry up some eggs? How do you like your eggs? Um... I, I don't know. It depends. How do you, um, like your eggs? Do you like them in the morning, or...? Um... Usually I like them at around 3 a.m. Like, just as I'm in the middle of That's... sleeping. That's a pretty antisocial hour to be eating eggs, though. No, but it's it's the only time you can truly, uh, truly enjoy them. Is it like for digestive reasons or something? No, no, it's 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 because uh, if you if you let the moon hit eggs, it kind of imbues them with this uh, with this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. It's like a, like some sort of magical property to the eggs at, at 3 o'clock in the morning as opposed to yeah. just like eating them at like 9 o'clock in the morning when, when you wake up and, and are naturally ready to eat some breakfast. Do you ever eat eggs not for breakfast? Like would you have eggs for lunch or, or for dinner too? Um, I got a whole bunch of sometimes. bad chicken by the way. Well, you know, there's, there's tons of eggs in... Oh, that would be delicious, actually, yeah. There's tons of eggs in, like, cake. So I, I suppose you can eat eggs any time of the day, just not in egg form. I worked up uh, quite the appetite killing all those chicken. I think, um... Oh, God, I can't eat these mushrooms. I just remember it. I still got ten mushrooms from yesterday. Should we get some sugar cane? Oh, yeah. Can we eat that? What, That's what a good idea, actually. We need to eat a lot of if stuff. You, if, I'm gonna start. If we to grab the, uh... oh jeez, haven't yeah, you got, only got uh... like four, um, four like meat legs or whatever those things are left? You could uh, head over to to cow cow to Mootopia and uh, oh, oh, get some yeah. steaks. I forgot about all. We need um, we need something to slay all those cows with, though. Maybe yeah. we should make some swords. That's a good point. I'll head back to Super Baseland and uh, make us some swords, wooden swords. What? Why did you call it Baseland? We gotta call it something cool. Okay, okay. Um, Deep Space Nine. Let's call it Deep yeah. Space Nine. Okay. Um, all right. I'm ready. I'm ready to go kill cows. If you if you make me a sword, I'll I'll go kill the cows. And uh, I've got while the sword. I'm doing that. Oh, okay, good. Did you, did you get it? Nice boots, by the way. I can see those I know. boots now. We, we, we couldn't see those leather loafers, armor. but uh, yeah, that's... Ooh, that's really Oof. something. Oh, I know. They look like um, uh, Ugg boots, actually. I changed my really? settings, too. Uh, my game settings. Everything is much brighter now. Um, I was playing on like some really dark settings. Depressing settings. Yeah, yeah, but but now you kind of seen the light. Yeah, I've seen the light now. Uh, I can see everything. I could see all the squids, no problem. Um, probably be able to see like 
danger at night now a lot better. Um, oh wow, I can kill chickens with one one shot now. This is good. There's a lot of chickens and cows on this island, actually. Um, I don't think we're ever going to starve if uh, if they keep breeding. What uh, what do we need to do to ensure that they uh, successfully breed here um, until the end of time? Uh, do we have I, to like? Uh... I think we need to build um, some of them a life-sized mural like, uh... of you without your shirt yeah. on. That'll keep something them, like, romantic. Just in a sexual frenzy, like all the time, they'll be ready to. Uh... Oh shit! My Wouldn't sword's it? broken. Oh no! Already? I'll uh, I'll throw you a new one because I've got two. All this friggin' leather that we're getting. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna punch these cows. I'm punching this cow in the ass. Do you think a cow would get like seriously hurt if you punched it like in the udder? <laughs> Probably. Do you think it would yeah. Um, I don't know. There are just a kind. It's it's like uh, breasts for cows. And do, do women do women kind of get mad when when you punch them in the udders? No, I, I don't think no. so. They probably. Not oh really. my god! I just took some damage from something. Oh my god! I'm taking. Oh. Yeah, I'm dying of starvation. I'll eat. I thought Quickly I was getting shot. Down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was close. Um, how come these little, like, um, legs of meat are, uh, like, green? Is it because I ate some bad chicken? I think it, uh, yeah, yeah, if, if you get poisoned, it's oh, not look, like... Oh, look, there's, like, fart bubbles coming out of me. What the hell's going on? I've just got, like, some... I got, like, some kind of disease. Come here. Come here and check me out. <laughs> I didn't stay away come from on. me. I, I don't want to It's not I don't contagious. Don't, don't worry, Shin. Your fart. Don't worry. I... Just, come on. I need some medical assistance. Oh no, okay, I'm, turn I'm around. Now. Pull down your <laughs> pants. No, no, I don't want that kind of. I don't want any medical Med assistance. Now. <laughs> okay, um, okay. I got nine steaks here, though. I'm gonna eat another one, though. Oh wait, if we cook the steaks, they um they actually do more for your hunger. Oh okay, I'll go kill this sheep with a with a steak. What a way to go! Imagine getting killed like with a with a steak. Yeah, that that, that sounds terrible. Although it's great for like injuries, like um, if you get a bruised eye or something, and you happen to have a cold steak around, just throw yeah. that on your face, and just wear it to school or work. And uh, I don't think anybody oh. would notice. I don't think so either. You could just like it, like similar to an iPad. You had some sort yeah. of string or maybe like a belt that you could just hold the frozen steak like onto your face with. Um, you know, people people are really accepting these days. They would see you and they'd be like, "Oh, he's got he's got a sore eye, or maybe just a bruised face, and he needs some." Or relief. maybe, uh, maybe he just likes wearing ribeye on on his face. It's, it's a completely it valid fashion choice it for could the metrosexual be. man. It could, it could be, yeah. What? Uh, look, at these squids are like having a dance. Um, can we kill them for meat? I'm like obsessed. We with can kill meat, them. Now. For ink, uh, I don't think they, they 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 didn't drop meat last time I checked. Oh, the sun is the sun is setting. I'm gonna the see. The sun if, is um... setting, and I have one heart. How do we replenish hearts? Do we need to? God, Deep Space Nine is in shambles, dude. We should have really used uh, that day to uh, to rebuild it, but I think food's a bit more important. And uh, I'm gonna quickly see if I can get a, uh... I'll see if I can get a pickaxe, get some stone, and then I can maybe build an oven. And then once I've got an oven, we can cook up the food. Oh, we could do with some torches too. It's too um, it's too dark. It's too dark and lonely. Oh, so romantic! Look, the sun is setting, the moon is rising. Thousands Although the fact of that uh... flesh flesh eating zombies will appear momentarily. Yeah, that always. How much that always, do you have? That warms my heart. Uh. Half a heart. Are you um are you underground right now? I think I can. I'm just getting see. a a few stones because if I can get a few stones, uh, I can make that oven. Okay. With the furnace. I'll uh I'll keep lookout for you. Okay, there's a zombie, sort of like uh God, at the uh at the the tip of the land. 
Um, God, this is really hard to describe, actually. He's trying to cross the river over to uh, Mutopia, but um, he's too dumb. He's too dumb. He's gonna go. He's heading for the ice now. Oh, there you are. What a dumb dumb. I don't even need to. God. Thanks for telling me. Just like oh, show no, up I... out of nowhere. <laughs> I appreciate that, that you are keeping recon, but I've got the oven now. Here we go. Ah, oh, fantastic. Here, do you want Check these it steaks? Out. Oh, oh, nice. All we need now is, is like a dishwasher and uh, a tumble dryer, a trouser press. No, that, all those things are your job. That's your manual job. Oh, look at this. We have light. Oh, God. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. I've cooked up a steak, and if I if I cook the rest of these steaks, I think we'll be we'll be sitting pretty for a long time. This is so hard, actually. The, the night just creeps up so fast, and you think you got the whole day to kind of spend on. The... Are you wearing a hat? Yeah, I just made one. Here, do you want some leather? There you go. Oh. I only have one piece left. Oh, that's okay. I can, like, um, put that over my crotch. Yeah, oh, good idea. Lots of protection. Protection, what? protecting the important parts, at least. Yeah, just, uh, just like a little loincloth. It makes all the difference. You'd, you'd be surprised. Um, okay, so all I have is, um, I have three saplings, ten mushrooms, um, I've got some feathers. Do we need these oh. for uh, anything? Um, I've got a, I've got some wool. We could maybe um, make a feather duster with the feathers. Although um, that's not actually a recipe, and we can't make one. Oh, what's that? Is that wool? Oops, sorry. No, that. Oh. Oh, oh the light's gone out. <laughs> that was the uh, that was the furnace actually. I'll see if we can get some charcoal. That was the I last can't... of the. Uh... That was I the can't last remember of how you make charcoal. How do you make charcoal? Oh, that's right. You burn wood. If you burn wood, you get charcoal. Yeah, you have to use... Um, yeah, if you use wood as the fuel, and then you burn wood, uh, yeah, you'll get charcoal. I'm cooking my wood now. Look at all those um, skeleton archers. There's tons of them over there. And, ah, oh, there's a creeper. Ooh. Great. Don't get too close to him. He spells trouble. Maybe the squids will kind of come to our aid, and just when we think we're going to get creeped, like, tentacles yeah. will shoot up. Well, you'll jump in the river to try to escape, and the squids will be like dolphins. You know, like when dolphins save, like, stranded, uh, stranded mariners and seamen. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe Flipper will kind of just you know appear and and, uh, and headbutt headbutt the creepers and then uh, cackle and um, and make high pitched noises to you and you'll understand you'll 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 feel like an affinity with uh, with Flipper when you see him because he's so friendly. Good news, I've got some torches. Let's put some of these up. Oh, fantastic! Oh, they're like a beacon of light. If we see any other travelers, they'll know. They'll know to come to Deep yeah. Space Nine. And they can eat some steak. And they can look at you in your loincloth. And I've got a hat. I can do a dance for them. Things are, things are looking up. Things are definitely looking up. And, um, you know, this is our second night. We're not having nearly as much trouble as we had the first night. Um, no, yeah. Things seem to be under control. Dead still, but How do we regenerate health? I can't even remember. Do you have to like um do you have to eat cooked food or something? Let me throw you some steaks and uh and let's chow down. See if see if we can get our hunger bar up to the top. And see oh, yeah. if that gives us health back. Hunger bars Oh yeah, here we go. Hunger bars topped up and uh and I'm regaining health. Oh and nice. I think we're gonna Panic need it over. too, because look at these jerks are like they're making moves. They wanna come over oh. here. They're pushing it. They're pushing it. They've seen that Maybe we've we can, we uh... built something beautiful, and they want to come over here, and they want to shit all over it. Because they're well, a bunch of bastards. I've got wood. 
and and you've got leather. Let's we could maybe take the fight to them, or or I don't know actually. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's too soon. I prefer to take the fight to them when I have um, some sort of shield, maybe some magical spells, and uh, some traps. Oh, that would be good. Oh, we could yeah. we could we could totally booby trap Mutopia, and um, and lure them into the traps. That would be that'll fun. be that'll be fantastic, actually. Yeah, I think I got away from a skeleton, didn't I, last episode by by kind of running away near that hole, and he managed to kind of slip into it. So some kind of trap yeah. with spikes and lava, and maybe uh, maybe dynamite. Cactus. Dynamite. Can you and, can't trigger uh, dynamite though, right? You can't use like switches or anything on dynamite. You have to use like you floor can. plates and oh, you can. Oh, you fantastic. can. Um, you can use redstone. You can hook it up to redstone and then just blow it from a distance. Oh, that would be really good. So, like, could yeah. we make it so that if they stepped on, like, a trigger or whatever, it would make the dynamite blow up? Yeah, we could have a minefield. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, that's such a good idea. We could just, like, sit here every night on Deep Space Nine and just watch watch them blow up on Mutopia. And then during yeah. the day, we could spend all day... Um, Recultivating Mutopia, but I I don't know if we should really do that though because we'll kill all the cows. We need them. We need, oh, yeah. we need their succulent meats to stay alive. We do. If this is Deep Space Nine, um, does that make you Odo? I'm um I'm Cisco. Oh like, right, um, yeah, yeah. I should have like, known. Like no, the the thong song, Cisco. Not the oh. space nine one. Yeah, that's well, right. Well, do you want to borrow my my thong, my leather, my leather thong? Um, you can do a dance. Truthfully, no. But really? Um, well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, have you been using it a lot recently? I mean, these it's are these sweaty. are troubling times. Like, it's probably pretty sweaty. Yeah, yeah. I've had to run away a lot. You know, I've got friction burns from this thing. It's it's not easy to wear. Oh, I I can I'm just like I can just see you like passing me this this loincloth that's just like just totally soaking wet like just like a like a completely soaking wet face cloth but it's a loincloth and um, that's good though I don't I mean, want that leather though. I don't want that it, sweat adds like a like a layer of protection it's like when you enamel like enamel on your teeth it's like sweat's like the enamel of loincloths yeah that's true. I mean, I, the loincloth itself already provides so much protection, but just that extra layer of sweat is um, is what makes them really, really good. Um, oh, Check look this, this out. Check the sun's it out. coming up. I know. Look, the skeleton's just going to burn. There's a creeper on the other side there. Maybe we should... Um... Oh, my God. I think he's coming. He's seen you. He can smell you. You know what? Really? He can smell the meat. He can smell the cooked he meat. Can... Not my loincloth, then. No. Well, he might smell that too. No, look, he's going the other he's, way. So yeah, he's so, falling. Oh, look, that he's going down here. What Gosh, a fool! We, we can we could always bury him alive. We could, although remember that because um, one of us might kind of run down there accidentally and then forget that we trapped the creeper down there. That oh, that's nightmare. true. He just came out anyway. And uh, well, I've got full health now, so that's pretty. Good. Um, I can see one cow on Mutopia, which we can go get after. And, Let's. Uh, uh, I suppose. Do we want to build? I suppose we want to dig some kind of mine, right? Like maybe, maybe on Mutopia, we could we could dig a little mine, and uh, and we can start getting some good materials, and we can we can pimp out Deep Space Nine. That's a what good idea. What do we idea. want to do, with Deep Space Nine? Do we want to just build this thing up and and make it huge, or is this just temporary until we find like a cooler place to build a base? I don't know. I feel kind of emotionally attached now to Deep Space Nine. It's like kind of a part of our history. I We've wouldn't want really to abandon it completely. So. Yeah, um, th this is, you know, represents the culmination of, you know, hundreds of seconds of blood, sweat and tears. Yeah, and uh, all mopped up by one loincloth as well, which is, um, well, revolting, but also um, impressive at the same time. Are you sure you don't want to wear this? Um, you know, I've been thinking about it, and actually, yeah, I do want to wear it now. 
<laughs> oh dear. If you if you if you're gonna uh, dispatch those cows, then um, shall I make a start on this mine? Yeah. Although I think maybe I think maybe we should um, we should start pretty soon. Uh, That's now a good that it's point. Daytime. Yeah. And then we can do the next episode during this day. Because otherwise, I mean, I don't know about you, but if this episode turns out to be like an hour long, that would be crazy. That would be, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. So let's uh, let's stop there. Hang on, I'm gonna come back to Deep Space Nine and then. Um, although we can just we can oh, just yeah. wrap up anyway. We have got like all day. We don't want to waste the day too much though, because um, it'd be good to actually get the mine started so that we can get some good material. I've got some more. Um, I've got two loincloths and uh, and five five sweet meats. Excellent, excellent. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I'm drowning. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm good. You're good. Right. Okay. Well, that was that was night number two. We survived. We did it. We're we're, we're doing a lot better. We got the things loincloth under is intact. Loincloth is still intact, although albeit very sweaty. And um, we didn't we didn't take any damage last night. In fact, we actually had our first cooked meal under the stars. That was, that was really something. That was amazing. So um so yeah progress. Uh and then our next task is to is to build a mine, or to dig out a mine, so that we can get some some stone and stuff, and then we can we'll, we'll pimp out Deep Space Nine a bit more. Right? Absolutely. Is that, is that what we want to do? All right. Let's yep. That. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.